insanely crispy Tex-Mex pork belly done on the barbecue. You're gonna watch this one. Oh, so crunchy. Bullseye took me out to Texas last month to show me the barbecue scene, and they've asked me to come up with a series of recipes that are gonna blow your mind. Now, obviously, Texas is the home of Tex-Mex. Mexico and Texas food coming together, and I'm gonna show you the most amazing crispy pork belly Tex-Mex. It's gonna be insane. There's two key elements to make this Tex-Mex pork killer. The first one is, is that we want lots of chipotle. So I'm using the smoky chipotle sauce from Bullseye. Then I'm using some smoked paprika and some more chipotle powder. And then some fennel seeds that I'm gonna grind down. It's gonna make, oh, so perfect with the pork. Now pork belly is perfect for cooking low and slow on your barbie, but what makes it killer is crunchy, crunchy skin. And this is a foolproof method that I'm gonna show you to get it right every time. Follow me. Pour a kettle of freshly boiled water over the skin, then pass it dry and bring it back to the chopping board. Now what we need to do is score the pork. Now we're gonna score it on the top on the skin and underneath. Now the reason that we score the skin is to open it up, it will help render down the fat and it will allow it to become super, super crunchy and crispy. Then we score it on the other side, and that's so that we can get all those Tex-Mex flavors into the pork. Now that's all scored up, time to make the rub. Now I'm gonna use the sauce to glaze the crunchy skin. It's gonna be mega. But we start with a rub and two tablespoons of fennel seeds. Get those into the pestle and mortar, then we're gonna just start grinding those down. We're just gonna get it nice and battered up. And the great thing about using the seeds is, is that as you break them up, all that fresh, beautiful aromatic flavor then gets dropped onto the pork and it sucks it in so good now add two tablespoons of chipotle powder in with your fennel seeds and then add one tablespoon of smoked paprika get that in give it a quick stir and then add that onto the pork transfer this now to a container and this is one of the key things to get crunchy, crunchy skin. Now I've put no salt, no seasoning, no oil, no nothing on the top of the skin. And I'm gonna put it in the fridge overnight. And that's important because what will happen is it will dehydrate the skin even more. So when that hits the barbie with a little bit of salt and a little bit of oil on it, it will go super crunchy. So don't miss this little bit out in the fridge overnight to dehydrate. Right, so that pork has been in the fridge overnight. Take on all that flavor. You know, come and just have a look at that there. You can see how it's completely changed color. Now I need to salt the top and then drop it on the barbie on the indirect heat method. So I'm just gonna drizzle it ever so slightly with a little bit of veg oil and just massage that in to the top of the skin. And now, some beautiful sea salt sprinkle over the top. Then, lid on. I'm going to let that cook low and slow for about an hour and a half, two hours until it's cooked through and perfectly crunchy. While the pork's cooking on the barbecue, let's get two little garnishes to go with it. A salsa and a really simple sour cream. So first up, let's prep the salsa. First up, we're going to finely dice these green chilies. Just de-seed them so they're not going to be that hot and then we're just going to finely dice those. Now half a white onion, we're just going to again finely dice. Three tomatoes, we need to de-seed them and dice them. You take the seeds out because otherwise it's really watery, so take those out. Chop some coriander. some salt, some freshly cracked pepper, and then I just want a little squeeze of lemon. Now I've got about 200 mils of sour cream there, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to zest a lime in there, 
once you've got all that zested, just slice it in half and squeeze in that juice and a pinch of salt. Incorporate that and that's a really zingy sour cream to go on the top. Now I'm going to glaze the pork with a bullseye smoky chipotle sauce. Let's check on the pork. Look at that beauty. Like, oh, you can just see how tasty that is. Just listen to this. So crispy, so crispy. Right, let's get the sauce on top. Now, put the lid back on and just leave it on the barbie for the last five minutes. Then we're gonna take it off. It needs that five minutes because the heat is gonna come up. It's gonna caramelize and make it sweet and crunchy. Some of the sauce is gonna drop down into the coals and it's gonna kick some smoke over, which is gonna go over the pork. It's that finishing touch that will make it absolutely delicious. Right. Now that pork is just bold with flavor, right? It's just gonna be so good. This is Cook Strong right here. Now, come and have a look at this. No sound effects, this is for real. I mean, that is just incredible. Just look at that. It's so crunchy. It's moist as hell. It's just falling apart and, oh. All right, poor. It's so crunchy. It's so delicious. Really strong, bold flavors. Fennel seeds really coming through. And that bullseye chipotle sauce made down into a glaze, it's just made it doubly naughty. That pork on a taco, it's gonna change the world. Right, time to build the tacos. So I'm gonna get some of these tacos onto a tray and just heat them up in the oven. Look at that beauty, Tex-Mex taco, back of the net with pork belly. Oh, just look at it, it's an absolute work of art. That boy has got to be worth £2.50. Let's take it out and see what people will pay. Right, Tex-Mex pork belly for the crowd, let's drop it down. Yeah. Wow. Right, get involved, get involved. Oh, yeah. Okay, Dom, what did you think? Best taco I've ever had, John. Uh, that was pretty fresh. Um, yeah, I'm into it. Amazing. Juicy and crunchy. Okay, but what, we're not talking about Rory. We're talking about... <laughs> we're talking... <laughs> Mr. C, what are you saying? Loved every single piece of it. <laughs> Melted in my mouth. The, the pork was excellent. Pork was excellent. Great Just tell the camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, great taco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I love the, uh, the crackling. Yeah. Uh, extra pound for the crack. Yeah. What would you pay for one taco? Uh, taco, I'd go for 250, I think. 250. Anybody higher than 250? Yeah. I, I, I'd go 350. Uh, would anybody go lower? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> not a chance. Right, I think the team from the coffee business are dead happy. That pork belly is absolutely killer on the barbecue this summer. So get it on there. Let me know what you would have paid in the comment box below and subscribe to the channel if you're loving what we're doing. Increase the pace. Chicken drumsticks on the barbecue. No thanks mate. What about some chicken lollipops? Oh my God, just look at that. Gnarly, oh, smoky, they smell amazing. The chicken drumstick is dead. Long live the chicken lollipop. <laughs>